Because sometimes we get we get this mindset that we get this mindset that praise is, and it's so cliche to say, but it's true. Praise is the fast songs on Sunday morning. Is is that not our concept of praise? It's the fast songs before the slow songs on Sunday morning. And see, I don't, I don't think that's all. I think praise is a daily devotion, a daily sacrifice that you give to God. Just imagine, imagine this. Imagine if Brian is getting his praise on on Tuesday and Brother Bill is getting his praise on all week long and Jonna is getting her praise on all week long. Not just, not just on Sunday mornings. But all throughout the week, they, they're all getting their praise on. And Rita and Rafa, they're getting their praise on. And Curtis and Julie. All throughout the week, imagine when you come on Sunday morning, getting all those praisers together in one room. Come on, come on. In one mind and one accord in unity. Giving glory, saying, God, I give you glory. God, we give you glory. God, you are good. You are beautiful. You are beautiful. Imagine how God will respond to that. Imagine, just think about that. How, God, how would you respond to that? Man, that's awesome. That's awesome to even think about. If we would just get the concept of praise, that on Tuesday morning when you got the weight of your job and your family and nothing, nothing seems like it's going right and God's probably the last thing on your mind, but you say, no, God, you are beautiful. God, I'm taking just a little bit of time out of my day and sacrificing to you. You are good. Imagine we get everybody together on Sunday morning that's been doing that, the congregation, everybody together. Man, let's see how he would respond. If you, you don't have to turn there, but we're going to go to 1 Chronicles 21, 26. Tom, if you want to shoot that up there, that'd be great. says, and David built there an altar unto the Lord, and offered burnt offerings and peace offerings, and called upon the Lord, and he answered him from heaven by fire. Yes. Answered him from heaven by fire yes. upon his altar of burnt offering. Yes. Now in the Old Testament, the way that they gave praise to God, the way that they gave worship to him, was to kill, slay their best animal so to say. Their, their, their calf, their bulls, their oxen. That's what they, they would slay their best one and if it was pure and holy, they laid on the altar and God would respond by fire and consume it. But for today, we're going to translate this into the new life terms. Into, into today's terms. So every time it says burnt offering, I want you to read this with me. Every time it says burnt offering, peace offering, I want you to put praise. Okay? We're gonna, let's read this. And David built there an altar unto the Lord and offered praise and praise and called upon the Lord and he answered him from heaven by fire upon the altar of praise. Upon the altar of praise. How is God responding to your praise? Is your praise bringing the fire is your praise being consumed on the altar is your praise pure and is it holy unto God that he would look and say new life ministries is praising oh new life ministries is praising I'm going to respond by fire we give you praise we give you wow. praise called upon the Lord and he answered him from heaven by fire upon the altar of praise. And some of us, some of us get in our minds these excuses. I feel that, man, dude, my life's jacked up. <laughs> Honestly, what I, what I was doing last week, God, He don't want that praise. He, he don't want that worship. Come on, come on. Hello, David. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jacked up, messed up. Come on, come on. Praise. Come on. But in the midst However, in the midst of his junk, in the midst of his wickedness, and his wrongful thinking, yes. what did he do? Amen. Amen. He stood.
feel praised. Amen. That's it. And God honored his yeah. praise. Yeah. Yeah. God honored his yeah. praise yeah. by fire. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Honored his praise. God honors your praise. I'm yes. telling you, God will yeah. honor your praise. With, with a repentance. It doesn't matter. Honestly, that sounds so cliche. We've heard that for years. I know I have. It doesn't matter what you've done. God wants you just as you are. But really, let's think about that. He died for that so we don't have to feel that way. So that we can come in free. Yes. Give him praise. Yes. Give him glory. Free. Hallelujah. Amen. You are good, Jesus. You are good. God honors true praise. David had favor because he had a heart of repentance and a heart of praise. The point of this was not to condemn and not to convict or offend, not to put something on, force something on you. Because I know sometimes it feels that way, the way we push praise up here, praise and worship, the way we prod you guys for praise and worship, it seems like, hey, come on, chill out a little bit. No, it's not. Because we know, we, we've experienced how God responds to true praise. We've, we've encountered that. And nothing can satisfy that but God responding rapidly. So I just wanted to encourage you today and feel the weightiness of this subject. To me, I just want to share with you my heart the weightiness of this subject. I remember a few years ago, uh, I'm almost done, I'm not done. But a few, maybe last year, we were all sitting around uh, Damon's house, and uh, he said something that stuck with me to this day, and I remember every word about it. He was like, Micah, it was a Saturday night. We were just, I was intern at camp, so we were just basically playing a camp stuff. He was like, Micah, tomorrow, when you leave worship, will your praise lead to somebody's breakthrough? He said, with your praise, your pressing in, yeah. will that lead, will somebody get a breakthrough because of your praise? Yeah. He said a name. He said, will so-and-so, and I remember the person, but I'm not going to say, he said, will so-and-so get a breakthrough? And man, that's just hitting you right here, and it's stuck there. And that's what I want to do. I want this to burn in you like it burns in me. Because, man, this is so... The, the power of praise. The praise is a weapon, man. And I just want you to think about that. Somebody walks in. Say, say God's fulfilling his promise to new life and people start flowing in. Talking a little bit on infrastructure, Ruah. Comes in. Sits, sits in your row. Yeah. Will your praise. Yeah. Will they encounter God because of your praise? Will they feel the presence of God because of the way you are pressing in. Yeah. Not because of what not because of what you are doing in your flesch. Right. Not that they would look at you. Yeah. Right. But they would encounter God because God is responding to your prayers. Yeah. God is responding to the way you are pressing in. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Is that good? Is that okay? Yeah. Just think about that. Chew on that man. Because I would hate for somebody to walk out of here because I was like and I don't really feel like doing it today, honestly. I had a bad week, messed up. I don't feel like praising. That would crush me. Souls are at risk. And that's why I want New Life Ministries to become better praisers, to praise better. How is God responding to your praise? We're going to go into another praise song. And it's I give you glory. And I don't want you to do it for me or just because I talked on this so it looks good if you do it. But I want you to really consider this, this exhortation. Chew on that. And I want you to respond rightly to God. Not me, but respond rightly to God. I hope this challenges you. Not offense, challenges you to be a better praiser. Can we just stand right now?